Hey everybody, welcome to Enliven Wellness. My name's Tessa Gurley and I am really excited to be here to talk to you about one of my favorite topics, which is the carnivore diet, more specifically, and a little bit more controversial, which is what I love, the raw carnivore diet. First of all, thank you to all my subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button down below, hit the bell button so you're notified when I go live, which I always do on Tuesdays at 6.45 Mountain Standard Time, PM. It's an awesome community. Become part of this community and learn how to recover deeply and get better at the cellular and energetic level. I simplify on this channel. You can heal, but you have to look to the root, which is cellular and energetic healing. All right. I also offer coaching. I'll talk more about that at the end because I really just want to share with you my experience of going raw carnivore. Now, what is the carnivore diet? First of all, it is the it is only eating animal proteins and fats. That is all. No vegetables. What? You say you have to have vegetables. You don't. You can get plenty of nutrients from just meat and fat. It's totally okay. What you've been, what you have been led to believe is not true all the time, right? And you could say the same thing about this. But what I'm making this video about is my experience with this diet, with this way of eating. And it's nothing short of miraculous. So basically the carnivore diet is where you only eat animal proteins and fats. Now I do raw carnivore. So I've taken it a step further because I started getting into the work of this guy named Ogenus von der Planets. And Ogenus von der Planets is one of my personal heroes. He was a huge proponent of the raw diet, specifically like raw primal. Now, he has a couple more like vegetables incorporated, but really not that much. He's more into the raw animal proteins, which is what one day, literally, you might ask like, how the hell did you get into this in the first place? Well, I was sitting at my kitchen table and I was like literally sitting there and it was like, eat raw liver. Like I heard this voice just like fly through my head and I was like, okay. So I went and I got some liver, really good grass fed pasture raised, because if that's one thing I cannot advocate enough, it's to be a conscious carnivore. You need to be a conscious carnivore. So make sure you're getting your meats from grass fed pasture raised sources. That is critical. Support local farmers, but you need to be a conscious carnivore, okay? I'm not all about like, kill the animals. No, 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 be conscious about it. So I'm sitting there, I sat down, I looked at this raw liver and I went, oh my God, I can't believe I'm gonna do this. So I, you know, I cut into it and I have some very specific recipes that I teach all my clients about and it makes the meat taste so good. And so I sat down, I did this recipe and I was like, I dug in and immediately, like this clarity of mind came over me. And I went, okay, like this is a thing. Okay, and so I ate this whole like four ounce portion of liver and then my stomach felt like, whoa, like it felt really good. And then suddenly I got this kind of like grumbly feeling and I was like, uh-oh. And then I was like, oh my God, I really need to poop. <laughs> so I ran into my bathroom and I took a glorious poop. Like it was perfectly shaped now, mind you, I have had chronic digestive issues my whole life. I mean, chronic, bloating, farting all the time, which really kills your dating life. If any of my ex-boyfriends are out there watching, you know what I'm talking about. Ariel, specifically, right? It was awful. I would fart constantly. I was bloated constantly. I mean, it was nightmare, nightmare. And I thought I was eating healthy, like I was eating so clean. Like I was doing the keto thing, but I was still mixing fruit, I was still mixing vegetables with meat. 
Um, I, you know, I'd try steaming the vegetables. I had tried, you know, cooking my proteins. I tried different cooking methods of proteins. I tried different food combinations. I was eating all organic. I mean, like I was doing all the things that I thought were going to be helpful, but I was like, I'm still, I'm still fucking bloated and I'm still getting brain fog after every meal. What the hell? So as I slowly started to decrease my vegetable matter, my brain fog started to lift. As I incorporated more raw animal proteins, the clarity in my brain turned on. Okay, and I had tried all these different kinds of probiotics. I mean, geez, God, you know, and I still love probiotics, don't get me wrong very specific strains, again, things that I teach to my clients. I'm all about this, this very detailed specifics here. It's not just any probiotic on the market, okay? You have to be very specific. So I do still like probiotics, but they weren't helping me when I was eating as clean as I possibly could. Like seriously, haven't touched sugar in six years, don't drink alcohol. I mean, like I do all the things, y'all, and I was still bloated and farting and having brain fog. And the more I cut back on vegetables, the better I felt. And then when I started eating raw animal proteins, I felt so good. Like the energy was like, oh my God. Like I remember the first night that I had raw eggs, I was like, oh my, I can't sleep. Like I'm, I'm like awake and my mind was going a million miles an hour. And I've had clients tell me this exact same story when we put them onto the raw carnivore diet. They just say like, I mean, I've had, a def I've had multiple people say these raw eggs, like I just had a client today and he's like, I literally can see my muscles like get shapely after I eat the raw eggs. Another client of mine said that she had raw eggs one night at Melissa um, and she said she had raw eggs one night and she's like, I was just talking up a storm and my husband was like, honey, go to sleep, but she couldn't. Okay, so like it felt so good and I started to, again, decrease my vegetable matter and I started feeling better and better. And I started to feel more energy. Now, you might be asking <laughs> about the safety of raw carnivore. If you look all around you, there is raw food in all y'all cities and you, it's in pretty much every restaurant out there. Raw eggs are in Caesar dressing. Sushi, steak tartare, Ceviche, caviar, smoked salmon, cold smoked salmon specifically. This is all raw. Oysters, clams, this is all raw food. It's just strange to you when you bring it home and eat it. So raw food is totally safe. It's served in every restaurant out there. Okay, so safety is fine. You have to be careful of a couple things. Make sure it's grass-fed, pasture-raised. Of course you do this at your own risk, always. All right, but you need to make sure it's grass-fed, pasture-raised. If you're really concerned about parasites, which I'm not anymore, I'll, I have a video about that that you can check out on my channel about why parasites are actually good for you. What? She's really crazy. No, 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 it's true. Again, pure academic reviewed research here, okay? Now, if you're really concerned though, make sure that you get meat that's been frozen for 14 days. This is per FDA guideline. That's actually what they call sushi grade fish, is fish that has been frozen. So if you're really scared, make sure that your meat's been frozen for 14 days, okay? Now, what does raw meat taste like? To me, it tastes awesome and I can't get enough. What do raw eggs taste like? Yeah, they're a little bit slimy, but you can make them into a soup, right? It's amazing. Now, I also advocate adding lots of fat to help with a potential insulin spike from too much protein, but really what happens is like your blood sugar really balances out, y'all. One of the major benefits I've noticed, blood sugar regulation, my sleep's been regulated. I don't need as much sleep. And I still feel like, I mean, right now it's like seven o'clock. I've been going since five o'clock. I worked out, I had clients, I had school. I'm still super energized, right? 
This is also due to fermented meat, which I'm just about to post a video about, so that's gonna be up on my channel as well. So what does it taste like? It's, it's great. It's mainly the psychological portion that you need to get over. And there are certain herbs and spices and things like fats that you can mix in to make these actually, it, it tastes really, really good. And once you feel the benefits, it's like, you ain't gonna go back. Believe me, okay? Seriously. Now, as for what I have felt, oh, and like what kinds of meats can you eat? Any? Can you eat raw chicken? Yeah. You cook it ceviche style, which is you use some lemon juice. You cook it ceviche style. You know, that's, that's it. Can you eat raw fish? Absolutely. Sushi. Can you eat raw beef? Yeah, that's called steak tartare. Okay, raw liver, absolutely. It's amazing. I'm gonna make a whole more series of videos about the benefits of raw versus cooked. I have one up on my channel already. Make sure you check that one out as well. But I'll get into that later, but there are many, many benefits to why raw, not cooked. But for now, I'll just tell you that it's amazing. And I'm gonna just share with you some of the benefits I've experienced. My hair has grown back so much thicker. It's grown back so much thicker. If you followed me for a while, you know like my hair used to be super thin, like falling out, like it's feeling so good now. And it's, it's just, it's growing back. <laughs> okay, my skin, like I don't do much to my skin at all. Like I don't wear makeup. Like I wear mascara, yeah, I wear mascara and I do a little bit on my eyebrows, but I don't wear any foundation, I don't wear any cover up. I put on lotion this morning and my skin is still nice and shiny, right? Like my eyes have gotten so much clearer. My teeth have brightened, they're remineralizing, like they're getting stronger. My nails are growing like weeds. Scars that haven't healed are healing. My belly bloat, and I'm not just, I'm not trying to show off anything here, but let's see. I used to have like perma belly bloat, perma bloat. And I just ate a pound of beef for lunch. And um, that's not bloating, that's muscle. Like I used to again have like super perma bloat and that has gone down like crate, like it's gone. It's amazing. And it's so freeing because I used to have this huge distended belly and it's not there, okay? So like my mood has also elevated. Brain fog after meals, gone. That was my number one symptom. It was like total brain fog, couldn't think, heaviness after eating, that's gone. It's gone and like I can't, like I'm so happy to be able to say that. Also, you might be wondering about poop. <laughs> well, you need fiber to poop, mm-mm-mm. My poop is amazing now that I'm off of vegetables. Now I still do some dulse flakes and a little bit of nori sheets and I have a whole video about what I eat in a day, so check that out. And yes, I do do celery juice, but I take out the cellulose from the vegetables and Ogenis recommends celery juice and so I've been doing that. Um, there's a couple little details that you have to have around celery juice, again, things that I teach in my coaching sessions all these little details, I have it worked out for you. <laughs> I've done the hard work, you don't have to do that. Um, but there are certain protocols that you need to put in place, like timing of the celery juice with the meat. But poop has been amazing. You know, and I was just doing my YouTube live the other night and one of my clients' um, girlfriends was like, my poop's on par. And she went from fruitarian, vegan, to this. And she's like, I've never felt better. And same with him, my client. Matthew, Jessica. It's a thing, you guys. <laughs> this carnivore diet really is incredible. Oh, pain. The amount of pain in my body, gone, gone. I used to be really stiff and tight, it's gone. Exercise stamina, increased. Muscle strength, increased. Cognition, brain ability, increased energy, increased sleep better. Oh my God. Like these are literally things that I have experienced and that I'm watching other people experience. 
It's amazing. So this is my little first video on my experiences with the carnivore diet, more specifically the raw carnivore diet. I hope this was helpful, a little bit illuminating. Maybe this will give you a chance to like say, hey, I wanna try this. You always do it at your own risk. Make sure you are a, you are a conscious carnivore. Get the best meats. Support local farms. If you're concerned about parasites, do frozen. Yes, you can do any kind of meat. Raw meat is at any is in every restaurant out there. You just don't think about it when you bring it home. The benefits of this are huge. Yes, does it take some change like psychologically and are there specific recipes that you can follow that make it taste better and smell better? Yes. But the benefits. If you're feeling like shit, or if you just really wanna take your health to the next level, this is one of the best things you can do in my opinion. Simply out of what I have experienced and what my clients are experiencing. So, if you're interested in coaching and you want to get on this plan, email me at the email down below and say I'm ready and we will get you in for a 30 minute free consultation. I do 30 minute free consultations so that you can get an idea of how I work, what we can do together to optimize your health, get you better at the cellular and energetic level and simplify so you're not taking like 30 supplements. <laughs> like that's not, that's not health y'all. You know, we get you to true root healing. It's awesome. And of course, if you're not down with the raw carnivore, I'm not gonna force it down your throat. <laughs> um, pun intended. But it's one of the biggest healing tools that you can do. I have experienced huge, beyond belief benefits from this. So thank you for being here. Stay tuned for more information like this. I love you all so much. Have a wonderful evening.